Hey guys, welcome to Chris's Clock Shop. So, um, first of all, I owe you guys, my fans, an apology. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, um, and I don't really have an excuse for that, but the excuse I'm gonna give is that I have so much clocks coming in, I can hardly take it. So, uh, I just wanna show you uh, what's going on in my shop, how many clocks I got, and also, I'm putting together a video uh, soon, which is going to help you figure out how to properly adjust a music box in a cuckoo clock and the various styles that there is for that. But I'm also going to show you how I work on my clocks and my clock repair assembly line. Okay, so I've got about 13 or 14 clocks in the shop right now, and over the next uh, week or so, I'm going to show you how I get them all done in a very short amount of time. Okay. So now I'm just going to give you a quick preview of what's going on in the shop here. So uh, I got that wall clock there. That's customer clock. I've got uh, that uh, cuckoo clock there, antique cuckoo clock. That's in the shop. Then over here, I got this grandfather clock. And then on the floor, look at this. I can't even take it. They're all over the floor. I got a cable movement here, cable, cable, another grandfather clock there, one back there, that wall clock there. There's another grandfather clock hiding on the shelf back there. And then over here, look at this. A wall clock, a cuckoo clock, and then down here, a mantle clock, and then one, two, three more mantle clocks, and look at that, ship's bell. They're everywhere. Clocks everywhere. In fact, I went to the store to buy more shelves um, today, but I didn't get there in time before they closed because I'm struggling with my... Uh, organization here okay great so um looking forward to showing you guys my clock repair assembly line how i'm going to get all of these clocks done in a matter of weeks two weeks probably i'll have all these clocks done all right stay tuned bye